another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to be cooking with the air fryer again. We're making bacon wrapped shrimp. So I put you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you're going to need, now don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to have it written down in the description box. You got to scroll down under the video. You're going to take some raw shrimp that's already deveined or peeled. You can do that yourself if you need to. And then you're going to take your bacon. You're going to take your bacon strip and cut it in half. Okay? So each half goes around your bacon. The tail is left on. Let's see if I can get a little closer look. Oh, come on. Let me see. I wanted to give you closer. Okay. You're going to take your bacon, and there's a process. you got to go around your shrimp. You can stretch your bacon a little bit, too. And put that all around your shrimp, okay? So you got it. So you can put it on a plate. After you do all your shrimp, you're going to put your plate in the refrigerator. You need to chill these for 30 minutes before you air fry them. This helps your bacon get cold again and it like a, adheres to your shrimp. Now, when you lay it on the plate, put it seam side down, right? So, let me get these other two. Wrapped around. Because if you use uh, pre cut sh uh, shrimp, then it's going to be too to get too done before the bacon gets done. Then you'll have rubbery shrimp if you overcook them. So, put your bacon on there. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay, so this is what your little shrimp are going to look like after they got the bake on them. Chill them for 30 minutes in the microwave, not microwave, <laughs> fridge. Then here is a batch that's already done. You're going to put them in your warmed up air fryer at 425 degrees. Bake them, or you can use the air crisp button for till they're done. So I put them seam side down in my little air fryer basket. And then let them go five minutes on one side, flip for another three or four. And then they're done. And then you can serve them with a dipping sauce if you need to, whatever you would like. This thing just don't want to stay. Um, I also salted and peppered and onion powdered and garlic my shrimp before I started wrapping. So it's up to you if you want to season your shrimp or not. A lot of people dip them in like Cajun dipping sauce. Maybe like you do your blooming onion or you could dip them in cocktail sauce, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, whatever you want to do. That's what we're having tonight with a big old salad. See you in the next episode of Simply Sarah. Bye everybody.